Quick question. Uh, did you take any travel insurance? Did you take any personal insurance, MediClaim and stuff like that while you took a sabbatical? Not extra one, okay. but like you mentioned that there are the premiums that were to go. Yeah. So, so I already had some insurance Correct. that was in place. So right. that was another safety net because I had taken the earlier days ULIP, uh, you know, investment link <coughs> plans. Right, so, right. So there was some investment kept out there. So, so there were little bits of investments that were there, but the insurance premium had to still go. Right. So, so actually, towards the end of my sabbatical, that was the toughest part because suddenly all your premiums are towards the end of March, yeah. and they all go together. Right. So I didn't realize that how much my bank balance had eroded right. till those final premiums finally went right and 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 i was lucky enough to come back to the jobs i'm so happy you mentioned about insurance yeah. i never even thought about insurance no, because it's an important part also, important. also i never thought about people insurance who, who are single i'm saying in your early 20s mid 20s you want to take a sabbatical do you need to take Medical, medical insurance. What are your climbing amount and you yeah. fall off? You've got suddenly a 30 lakh rupee bill or 20 lakh rupee bill. Absolutely. How important is that when you want to take a sabbatical? It's actually absolutely essential. It's essential. Crucial. Okay. Absolutely, right? So here's an insurance plan for everybody. Okay. Number one is health insurance. You don't even move without a health insurance because, God forbid, if something happened to you in, in terms of health or even to your family member, your sabbatical and everything else that you're going to do for the next 10 years can go for a toss. So your health insurance. Now, what's the amount that we're talking about? At least about 15 to 20 lakhs if you're living in a large city like a Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, and right. Dubai, Calcutta, Chennai, etc. If you're living in a smaller city, maybe a little lesser, 10 to 15 lakhs. But a floater policy covering your whole, poli a whole family, absolutely essential. So do get your health insurance in order. And buy so, a direct health insurance, not like some tie-in thing, right? Uh, no, a floater policy. I a flo a floater What's a floater with, policy? Uh, so direct, there are two types. Okay. Uh, one, you buy an insurance is just on yourself for your yes. own, own uh, benefit. But if you have a family, then you buy a family floater. It's cheaper, uh, cost-effective. And, and works it, for everyone. And works for everyone. So, so there's a 15 lakh fund everyone can access. Anyone can use any amount of that fund. So that's a great idea. <clears> so get your health insurance, number one. Number two, life insurance. You, life is uncertain. You are not working. If you are the primary earning person of your family, and if something were to happen to you, then I think it's extremely important that you have a health insurance back. I'm sorry, a life insurance back to cover you so that your family gets that benefit in case you're not there. Right. Just in case something happened, you went on a bungee jump and I mean, I, I dread to even think about it. I mean, I'm scared about a bungee jump, but... Mm. You know, He's like 10 me. policies. <laughs> I mean, you know, so, so anyway, I mean, that's a risk, right? Risk to life. But health insurance and life insurance, I don't think you do anything... Uh, you don't even move without these two things. Okay, these are, are necessary These are like aspects absolutely to think of. mandatory. There's a third angle to insurance also, which I want to talk for a lot of people. Uh, you know, in my experience of the last 20 years of doing financial planning for people, I've seen a lot of people, and I'm willing to even bet on this, that 90% of the people have the wrong policy. All right? And 90% of these wrong people who have the wrong policies are paying a hell of a lot of premium mm. for those policies. Now, if you want to unlock your cash flow and use it productively, then you know there are restructuring possibilities in a contract. An insurance contract is not something that you are married to for life and you have to, for example, keep paying forever. You can restructure, you can modify. It's a contract. Contracts are malleable. You can, you can change them, you can modify them, you can restructure them. Do take advantage of that. By doing that, you'll unlock so much of productive cash flow, which can go into a recurring deposit, or if you don't need that money, it could go to an SIP, and which will create tons wow. of wealth for you over a period of time.